Big news from the pageant world. Missouri has crowned the first openly gay contestant in the history of the Miss America competition. That groundbreaking woman, Erin O'Flaherty, is with us, joining us live from St. Louis. First of all, Erin, congratulations to you. Quite an accomplishment, an honor. So how do you feel? Thank you. You're very welcome. What type of impact do you feel this could possibly have, Erin? Well, um, it's certainly making history, and I'm not sure that I set out to do that, but I am the first um, openly gay Miss Missouri and contestant to head to Miss America, so I'm very excited for that. But mainly I'm excited to represent the LGBT community. We're underrepresented um, in public you know, positions of influence. So I'm excited to take that on, and I hope that my presence um, will help with visibility for the community. And you're also excited about your platform, which is suicide prevention. And how do you feel that your title will help you in that work? Yes. Well, suicide prevention is something that I certainly hope to champion throughout this entire year. I promote the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention, and I also work very closely with the Trevor Project, uh, which is the nation's leading crisis intervention and suicide prevention hotline for LGBT youth. LGBT youth are actually up to eight times as likely mm. to commit suicide as compared to their straight peers if they come from an unaccepting environment. So I'm really excited to partner with them, and I hope that it will be a great year of social change. And giving them a voice, uh, which is so... Um, yes. you, you have to know that um, you know, a young person seeing you and, and breaking down this barrier, that it has to you know, have some kind of impact. And, and as you said, so many of these young people are going through... It, it's tough enough to be young, period. But when you're yes. are gay or bi or transgender and you're being bullied and that, so uh, how will you continue to get that message across that this too shall pass? We, we've heard this campaign about, you know, just, just get through this difficult time. How are you going to help them get through it? Right. Well, I'm just going to share my story as much as I can. And like I said, my focus of this year, um, I hope will not be solely on my sexuality. I'm excited to represent the organization, to represent the Miss America organization. Mm -hmm. And I think what my message really is, is that I had dreams and goals, and I was very scared at first to become who I am. Uh, but once I stepped into who I was is when I became most successful. <laughs> so my message to all young people out there who have a dream, uh, but may be a little scared is that no matter what obstacles are in your way, it does get better um, and that I'm here for everyone. And do you have a dream to be Miss America? Absolutely. <laughs> um, that's always a bigger, you know, always a great thing to have a bigger goal. But if not, I am just so excited to represent Miss, mm. to be Miss Missouri and to represent the Miss America organization. It's amazing um, that they have opened up to me. And I think it's truly a testament to how diverse and inclusive the organization is. And it's changed my life completely. You represent that crown well. Erin, all the best Thank to you. you. We'll be watching you in September. We'll be Thank watching you so from, much. Okay, you take care.